On April 27th, the annual Frisco ISD Special Olympics took place at Memorial Stadium. The event was conducted to allow our talented raccoons to show off their athletic abilities and come home with winning medals. There has been running and throwing such as softballs and tennis balls. Yay. There's also a bubble wrap run where the kids get to go through the bubbles. My favorite event is the track event where they run the 100 yard dash because it's really fun to see all the cheerleaders and our football players are here line the track and cheer for the kids and they all support each other and they all come away saying they're winners. The Frisco High School cheer and football teams went to the Special Olympics to cheer on our athletes. We've been out here handing out medals to all of the participants and it's really fun watching them accomplish what they've been working hard for and getting to recognize them for that. We've just been chilling, um, cheering on the kids and yeah, it's been really fun. It's fun watching them compete, have fun. Yeah, We've got a lot of fast kids out there. They, some of them faster than me, you know what I'm saying? Our athletes were an inspiration to everyone. It's been so inspiring. Um, they just feel, this is why it's my favorite race, because they just feel like rock stars, which they are. They're superheroes. That's the theme of it this year. So it's just been really inspiring. Everybody's encouraging one another. We have our best buddies. We have our football players. We have our cheerleaders. So everybody's just come together. We have our feeder schools here and all of the high schools and middle schools in our district. It's a really supportive environment for our students, and everybody's had a really fun day. The Special Olympics were a great opportunity for our Frisco High School students to compete and come home with gold medals. If you see one of our winning athletes in the hall, make sure to tell them congratulations. For RACC TV, I'm Maria Lawson. Go Video gaming is a worldwide phenomenon, capturing the attention of millions around the globe. From consoles to computers, video games are an attractive form of entertainment. Well, it's fun. Uh, it's interactive. I mean, the, most of uh, the kids that are already doing it, you know, already like it, right? Uh, but it, it adds an extra level of competition, and I, I think that's what's most appealing to it. One activity accompanying gaming is eSports, massive international video game competitions with prize pools totaling over six figures. Okay, well, eSports has actually been around since the 80s, which most people don't realize. Uh, and then PC gaming really kind of caught on in the 90s. Uh, with games like, like, games like Quake and Myst and Riven, and those got really popular. Uh, but it's really the last 10 years with console games, uh, with the online gaming, uh, that it's really kind of become a big deal and got caught, caught on. You can actually get scholarship money uh, by playing eSports uh, from some colleges, so which, that's kind of the big deal and why it's kind of started here at Frisco and in Frisco ISD. While video games are extremely popular, people have a wide variety of favorites, including a few oddball picks. What's your favorite video game and why? Um, Overwatch is my favorite video game because it's fast paced and I like the action. My favorite video game is Black Ops 2 and it's probably because of the zombies. Uh, I'm going to have to say Block Source because I really enjoy how challenging it is to my mind and I love speedrunning it every day. Uh, probably Wii Bowling uh, just because it's like you get to uh, like involve your physical abilities with the screen. Being a part of pop culture, gaming has its own set of stereotypes. Well, I, I think the the mistaken stereotype is uh, you've you've got the 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 person. It's usually a male, right? Uh, but that's not really what I see. I mean, I see the it's uh, uh, very interactive. Uh, it's very social, and there's a lot of girls involved. Uh, and they're mixing it up and competing really heavily with the, with the guys. What could games do to attract girls? I think just have more like not violent stuff and let's make it more fun. Like I don't know, I feel like video games are so serious. Just like add some fun to it. Why do you think girls don't like video games? Uh, I don't know, maybe they're just interested in like other things. Whether you like to play or not, video games are an omnipresent part of modern culture. If you're hesitant to jump in, go for it. Video games suit a wide variety of interests and you're sure to find one you like. For ICC TV, I'm Connor Dekashan. Good morning, Frisco High students. On May 10th, Varsity Club will be hosting the first annual Frisco High School Car Show. As many of you know, the parking lot is already filled with nice cars that belong to students and faculty. The car show will be held in the upper back parking lot, where the band practices.
Admission will be free and open to faculty and students. There will be three different categories. Coolest car, coolest truck, and funniest overall vehicle. Most people like me connect with cars like they're actual people and if you love your car that much to a point, why not come show it off? I know Cars and Coffee down in Dallas is always packed so if you go to school here, come bring your car and show it off here on Thursday, May 10th. Well, the students and staff should come to the auto show because it's an opportunity to see cool cars like up close and personal. Uh, maybe talk to the person that owns it and find out what it's really like to drive that car. Uh, you may read a lot of hype about cars and road and track or online. So, you know, what is it like to really own one, right? So that's a great reason to come out, hang out, have a good time, uh, talk to your friends, and, um, and have some fun. Hope to see you on Thursday, May 10th, 4 to 6.30 p.m. For RACC TV, I'm Gage Thomas. Good morning, fellow raccoons, and welcome to Blue Weather Watch. I'm Colin Sibley. And I'm Eli Burke. Speaking of the weather. Today we'll have thunderstorms with a high of 71 and a low of 55. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 54. And Sunday will be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 60. Come on this way. Can I ask you a joke? Can I hear a joke? Of course. Alright. How do you organize a space party? How? Oh. You plan it. Because <laughs> it's like... Playing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the rest right here. Never say that again. Hey seniors, prom is finally here. Everyone stay safe and have a happy prom weekend. AP testing starts next week to all those who are in AP classes. Be sure to arrive at your testing location on time and ace this test. Good luck! It's not too late to register to be in the end of the year production. We need all the people we can, whether it's acting or on the crew. If you're interested, go to bit.ly slash FHS Rewind. We hope everyone has a happy and safe prom weekend. For RACC TV, I'm Constable. And I'm Eli Burke. Let's go!